Hello, all you fight flight sim simmers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Microsoft Flight Simulator and Air Hauler 2. So, uh, if you uh, remembered, uh, in the last episode, we had formed our company, uh, CKF Expeditors, and we had taken our uh, first uh, uh, type rating flight uh, for the uh, Cessna 172, and so we're all set on that, and we are uh, ready to, and we also picked up our first delivery, uh, which is a load of ice, and we are going to Lind, Washington, uh, traveling from uh, Chehalis, Washington. So uh, I have already uh, put a flight plan together, and we'll we'll pick up on that. But so right now, so what we want to do here in Air Hauler is, uh, well, we can look at our runways, and we know that uh, we've got a nice runway to come in on so we want to click fly now and we want to pick this aircraft and so we've got to uh, put on board our load so let's put the whole board on load we still have a available capacity of 227 pounds which is just about right. Actually, I'm gonna put on a little more fuel uh, so that we can get that down to somewhere around, somewhere about right there. So that gives us an estimated range of 465 nautical miles. And uh, I think we are at, uh, I think our distance is 181. So that should be more than enough fuel. We're uh, not overweight anywhere. So let's uh, go ahead and accept that. And we're putting on 22 pounds. And so uh, our route is, again, in air hauler, it's gonna just show it direct uh, because the flight plans don't carry over and you can't save it. Uh, our kneeboard briefing is right here and I can always refer to that while I'm flying. Uh, but let's go back to the flight plan. We can uh, accept the route and fly. So this gives us our details. Uh, and uh, so now we just need to click OK. And then it's gonna connect in to the flight sim and we're connected. So now we need to go over here to the flight sim and I will uh, uh, be over there in just a second. Okay, I am over here into the flight sim. And so uh, uh, let's open up the world map. And again, I have already created a flight plan uh, because it took some um, kind of tricky maneuvering because you've got to go up through the mountains. So what I did in here, let me open up the flight plan. Open that up, load, and I want to load from this PC. All right, so the other thing we need to do is go into our flight plan here and let's uh, set our time uh i don't want to fly in i don't want to fly this in the dark that's for sure all right and let's close this uh let's move that up a little bit all right so as you can see we're leaving from our airport here and we're traveling north just a little bit and then we're kind of going to skirt along the mountains as we're going to gain in elevation and then i have set up kind of following the highway up through Snoqualmie Pass and it comes out and over and we come down through past Roslyn, Cleelum, uh, down through by Ellensburg, across over and then we get out into Eastern Washington and then that kind of takes us straight into Lynn. 
So, uh, let's see. Now, the other thing is uh, we uh, should be going up to about 9,500 feet according to the nav log, but the route that I placed, because uh, 9,500 feet, the aircraft can do that, but it's a bit of a tussle for it. So, I am going to be going up to 8,000 feet. And that should be more than enough to get us through the pass, because I believe Snoqualmie Pass is uh, on the highway is right around a little over 3,000 uh, foot elevation. So uh, let's go ahead and fly this thing. Uh, our time and everything is set. So let's click fly. The other thing we got to do is. Uh, check our weights and balances uh, as uh, shoot uh, we've got uh, 481 pounds of ice now as I was saying we've got to check our weights and uh, I want to check my knee board over here Archer, Lima Sierra, traffic Cessna, runways. Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra Alpha, taking off runway tree for departure to the north. Okay, this is uh, what we wanted. Let's go back to the map view over here. All right. Uh, let's hit ready to fly. Okay. Now, let's go up and do our weights. Because this starts... Uh... uh I'm not sure what all of this is, but we had, oh shoot. Do this, payloads, there we go, pilot 170. Uh, we need to be up to, uh, for our weight, let me do a quick calculation here. Uh, for our payload, it's, uh, 481 plus 170 equals so 651 for our payload uh payload six fifty one And let's see, 651. Oh, bring it back down. Uh, 650 is close enough. All right. And our max allowable fuel. I believe that is correct. Uh, there shouldn't have been so. Our fuel. 13 uh, yeah I think I think we've got that set okay let's close this uh, let's set our want to set our elevation and let's go over to here let's uh, get out of my way all right, so I need to set this at, we're gonna go up, oop, that's wrong way. Let's get this back to zero. Let's get the right button here. Come on, commander. Oh, why? Uh, let's get that to 2,000. All right, 3,000, 4,000, 6,000, 7,000. Let's go to 7,500 to start with. It's going to be a bit of a slog going up there. Uh, we need to turn this on and our elevation up. We want to set that at 500. And... I think we are ready to take off. 
So let's do this. Okay. Our run up. Uh, better put a flap down. Okay. We are loaded and ready to go. Let's see if we can get off the ground here. And we're close. There we go. Okay. All right. So we're off and flying. I need to turn this on and turn the nav on and we should be getting lined up there we go okay so we are on autopilot we are climbing to and then that was the the ding saying that uh, we're in route on air hauler and so now it's just a matter of flying there and uh, let's start this I try to run the, the timer just to see if, you know not that it really matters much at this point because we are on autopilot and we've got everything kind of set so uh, we're uh, off and flying so I'll uh, catch up with you as we uh, hit different spots along the way Well, just an update. Uh, as you can see, we have reached 7,500 foot elevation. I've kind of got tried to get this trimmed out to where it's probably the most efficient. Uh, we are uh, at 44% on our fuel, so we still should be in pretty good shape. And if we look off to our right, that's uh, uh, Mount Rainier right there. And we're going to be uh, get back. We're going to be kind of flying around it to the north of Mount Rainier. So just uh, to kind of give you a little bit of an update uh, as we're flying along, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll keep you posted.
well as you can see, we are uh, uh, heading through the mountains, and uh, we should uh, haven't uh, shouldn't have any problems getting through here. Uh, there's Mount Rainier off to our uh, right. We come back around. Uh, we're going to be kind of following this river, highway, and power line up through uh, this valley out up through here. And so we should be uh, uh, just fine. You can see I've got quite a few uh, markers coming up through here. So uh, we're going to be just kind of swinging back and forth. And the next one uh, will should start swinging back to our left. And that's going to take us up and over to about right there. So this is just to keep us coming up through the valley so that we don't uh, run into any uh, elevation problems. I'll keep you posted as we're uh, moving along. you can see we have uh, starting to make our way out of the mountains onto the uh, east side uh, that is I-90 down below us and we are heading for uh, Cleelum uh, which uh, is uh, uh, not far Roslyn is right there close and if you remember way back in the 90s 80s somewhere around there uh, there was a uh, TV show that was filmed up in there uh, about uh, Alaska, life in Alaska. Uh, it was northern, shoot, uh, what was it? Northern, northern something. I'll have to look it up. I'll put a, a note as to what, uh, what the uh, uh, TV show was. So uh, we're continuing to fly along. As uh, we get closer, I'll uh, keep you posted.
Well, as you can see, we are out over the uh, agricultural, the wheat fields, the farmlands here in uh, eastern Washington. And uh, so our next uh, stop or our next waypoint is WT01. And then when we hit this waypoint, uh, WA68, I will uh, start to slowly uh, uh, coming down in elevation. We should be fairly safe at that point. Uh, our uh, landing field is uh, at 1,500 feet elevation. So I'll, uh, I'll slowly come down to uh, about 3,000 foot elevation, 3,500, something like that, so that uh, when we make this last turn and we're about 10 miles out, we should be pretty close to the proper landing elevation that we want to be. So just an update. Uh, once I start uh, uh, getting close to the airport, getting ready to start landing, I'll uh, catch back up with you all.
Okay, we are about five nautical miles out. And so let's put our fuel mixture back at 100%. Uh, let's go ahead and turn off the AP and the altitude hold. And we'll start uh, flying the craft ourselves. And that should be the runway that we're looking at right up there. So let's start adjusting a little bit. And we should start dropping in elevation. Let's back off on the throttle. 15 degrees flap. There we go. And I do see the runway there. Not sure if this has lights. It says it has lights, but they don't always have them. Oh, I do see some lights on the uh, right-hand side there. So we should be pretty good. Less throttle. That looks reasonably lined up. Lind Washington. We should be about to get the call outs. And we are on the ground safely. So let's go down here, turn and taxi back to parking. And then we can deliver our uh, ice. Okay. And as you can see, we are in the uh, wheat fields of eastern Washington. All right, let's uh, close this and raise our flap and give it a little throttle. And let's get back to parking. That shouldn't uh, shouldn't take us too long here. I see the ground people driving around up there. Uh, I didn't see any. Uh, I mean, it has lights, but I don't see any uh, lights that tell you if you're high or low.
Okay. And we can just kind of taxi right over here. And why is it necessary that you guys always got to drive about the time I'm pulling in? And let's just swing right over here to the warehouse. All right, right here. This will work. All right, let's uh, put our brakes on. Let's uh, cut the engine. Turn that off. And let's turn that off. Okay, well, we have shut down, so I will see you back over in Air Hauler. Okay, we are back over here in Air Hauler, so we need to unload. So let's hit the cargo button. Let's unload this. And there we go, job complete. And we've delivered the ice. And we've got another uh, achievement. We've got trucker. So nice, that's our first delivery. There we go. And so now uh, what will happen is, well, actually, let's go ahead and finish closing out of this. We do have, uh, we ended up with uh, about 70 pounds of fuel left on board, so that's not bad, uh, which is about what I was expecting. And let's, so let's go ahead and click OK. Okay, and then we can finish the flight monitoring and see our results. And let's see. Oh, we had a good landing. Uh, but everything everything looks good, so let's okay and finish the flight monitoring. And uh, let's, uh, yeah, nothing on the map. Uh, let's go back to the overview. So what will have to happen now is I'll have to try to find a, so we are over here in, right here at uh, 0S0. The problem is everything is incoming and nothing is uh, outgoing from here. So we'll have to try to find something maybe like the 16W. Uh, let's see, this uh, uh, from... Uh, 16W, that's going back. So what I might end up doing is, then we got two days on that. So uh, kind of kind of interesting that we can pick up shrimp out here, uh, and that's a good runway. So uh, I think what I will end up doing for our next load, or what I'll end up doing is, is just going ahead and picking up this load and then flying back and then the next episode will take off from uh, our uh, home base there in Chehalis so uh, so yeah so let's uh, kind of uh, wrap this thing up uh, if we take a look at uh, the company information and we look at our ledger we'll see that uh, we uh, had our type rating test uh, we've had some landing fees and fuel purchase and then here's our payment for the job that we just got done, the uh, 481 pounds of ice. So uh, let's see, what else uh, do we need to look at? Uh, so our finances, uh, as you can see, everything's pretty much uh, uh, level line. We don't have, we haven't really increased much. Uh, we've got uh, that much in our company cash right now and this is what we brought in for income uh let's uh and then uh, let's take a look at uh uh one more thing here uh info uh and this is showing our uh reputation so by making that one delivery we've uh, gained in cargo reputation we're not going to really gain much in packs because we're not going to do any passenger and I rarely do any mission. So we might gain a little bit on that. So we'll continue to build up our reputation. I think let's uh, just hop back over to the overview. Uh, 
Let's hop back in over here. Uh, actually, let's hop. Let's back hop over to our office view. There we go. Our office view. Uh, so, uh, with that, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. Uh, it really helps out the video. And uh, please subscribe. That really helps the channel out. And ring that bell. Uh, that'll let you know when I upload new uh, videos. And I'm always uh, doing that, uh, uploading uh, videos on a regular basis. And uh, so, yeah, all you sim pilots out there, keep flying away. Uh, have those nice smooth landings. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.